assalamu alaikum in the second part of this lecture uh, we will try to demonstrate the implementation of association rule mining in one of the famous data mining tools uh, which is uh, rapid miner so here is the link from where you can download this rapid miner studio it's not an open source but you can download it by creating a account at rapid miner studio website after that you can download this software from this link so i'm not going uh, to show you how you can uh, download and install because being a st IT student or CS student uh, it's uh, quite easy for you guys to download and install it uh, on your work workstations so I simply just going in to search for uh, rapid miner in my workstation so I just click on this rapid miner studio so it takes time to load on windows it is the uh, rapid minor studio 9.3 version so it's initializing the operators as you know i'm using the free edition which is registered to my you know personal email id So, just wait. So, after uh, it, it's initialized, here you can see the welcome window. Uh, here you can start a new project in blank, turbo preparation, uh, it will, and an auto model. It automatically builds your model, but this facility is only available in. You know, registered uh, version of the Rapid Miner Studio or on trial basis. So here you have a templates or tutorial tutorials that how can you use in the Rapid Miner Studio. So I'm just going to start our new project. So here we have different different uh, panels of the uh, Rapid Miner Studio. This is the repo repository here we have sample data sets and sample processes and uh, local repository that I have generate, uh, generated in order to save my projects and import my data sets on my system or repository of this rapid miner studio and here is the operator panel or operator window here you can choose different panels by searching for their uh, short names you can simply see here is a data access folder in which different data access operators are available uh, cloud storage applications similarly databases or you can simply uh, read or write files from csv excel from urls ssp spss or you can uh, write files to csv or write your results to CSV or Excel file and similarly you can import your uh, files from databases directly or you can write to database as well similarly uh, here we have blending operators of attributes of examples and tables as well and similarly we have attributes for different data pre-processing or cleansing like uh, as you have studied in the data pre-processing uh, portion how can you pre-process the data sets so in this uh, here we have the normalization attribute denormalization attribute binning attribute as you have discussed in the data pre-processing learn in the dis uh, you know in the data pre-processing uh, you know, lectures uh, how you can uh, 
you know remove the missing values or impute the missing values uh, how you can remove the duplicates in the data sets how you can detect the outliers so these are attributes or belong to clean sync similarly here we have modeling uh, in which we have predictive segmentation associations and similarities uh, operators for these functionalities and similarly for other so when you have a little uh, knowledge or know-how with this rapid manner studio you can easily uh, look for the operators of your desired uh, work so uh, it's also in this rapid manner studio also gives you a recommendation or recommended operators if you are connected to the internet connection it will recommend you different operators like if I choose the read CSV folder it will recommend me that how and you can choose select attributes from this CSV file you can set roles roles to attributes of this CSV file or you can apply directly model to this CSV file and similarly these type of recommendations made by the uh, rapid minus studio and here we have the uh, help window which gives us the uh, description of the uh, you know the uh, operator that we had selected like if I click here it gives us the description uh, window for this read studio you can um, read out this in order to fully understand the working of the in this uh, operator and here we have different uh, parameters of the selected operator like we can uh, read CSV file from the uh, folder like I have a data sets in a desktop in the data sets folder and in if suppose we choose this iris data set and just simply connect this with the output port and just run it so it will show us the results that it contains the row number and it contains this sorry this is uh, we did not actually uh, just click on it so it this is the comma separated file but the file that I have selected is dot CSV which is comma separated so this is not semicolon this is comma separated so I replace it with this and run it again so this will show us uh, this file has five attributes and 150 examples uh, examples mean uh, we have 150 samples in this data set or rows in this data set and we have five attributes sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width so uh, so this is all about the framework of the rapid minor studio so let's just begin our uh, working on, on how we can mine the association rules in rapid minor studio so so in this example I am going to use uh, another data set uh, of you know uh, let's go into our data sets and then my data set folder in which I want to choose uh, bakery dot or you can grocery store data set simply click on next and then I want to go next and next finish so this is our data set in which we have different attributes like transactional ID milk bread biscuits cornflakes tea and so on and here we have uh, values of yes and question mark yes means in the transactions these items are purchased like in transaction ID 100 milk bread and biscuits are purchased while question mark shows the absence of the uh, particular item so in these items uh, in these uh, attributes uh, the transactional ID is not important 
so uh, I just drag this data set just output the data set you can simply uh, look at this so the TID is not important so I'm just going to select attributes just click on select attribute and here you can set the parameters I just want to select single attribute which attribute I am just going to select the TID attribute and just if I click on run so I just get only one attribute which is transactional ID so I just want to remove this single attribute so just I click on invert selection so I just run it again so here I can uh, you can see uh, the all the other attributes are available uh, except in the you know the transactional ID attribute so just close this one and then uh, we want to you know select the association rule just okay you can just go to modeling tab you and then go to association tab you can, here we have different association rule attrib uh, attrib uh, methods or operators so I just drag this folder and uh, this operator here and make connection with this and here we have the example port that uh, means you can uh, simply output the result uh, output, output the examples that you have received from the previous attribute so I'm not uh, I don't want to you uh, see this these example I just want to sh you sh uh, see the frequent item sets as you can see here the frequent pattern growth frequent sets so just simply run it so it gives us the following item set frequent item sets these are the frequent item sets of length 1 these are the frequent item sets of length 2 and you can see these are the frequent item sets of length 3 and similarly here we have frequent item sets of length 4 in which we have milk biscuits coffee and sugar are frequent item sets of length 4 with the support of 0.2 or 20 percent so we can change the uh, you know uh, click on this attribute or operator we can change the uh, you know the minimum support so let's increase the support to you know point so I want to set it to point nine five and then run it again and we get these frequent item sets so similarly uh, after generating the uh, frequent item sets we need to create association rules so uh, the input of this uh, attribute operator is we need to give these frequent item sets uh, to this create association rule and this operator returns the you know uh, rules generated association rules from the frequent item sets and if you want to uh, show the frequent item sets then you can also output this from this port so run it this will give us the frequent patterns and this will give us the association rules like we have a rule sugar and biscuit so premises are the left hand side of the rule and conclusions are the right side of the rule so this rule becomes sugar implies biscuits so the support for this rule is 0.25 confidence is 0.833 similarly Laplace coefficient is 0.96 and lift is 0. Uh, 1.28 and similarly we have conviction for this rule and so on similarly we have the uh, this rule biscuit and 
coffee and sugar implies milk and with the different values of the different performance evaluation measures Simil similarly you can view the graph of this association rule and uh, you can check the association of the particular item uh, different items with the particular item set or coffee bread tea we have only three associations association rules with tea and we have no rule with sugar and no rule with cornflakes we have many rules with the bread and here we have the description of the rules like b muggy implies milk confidence is 0.8 similarly biscuit and sugar implies coffee we have a confidence of 0.80 percent similarly here we have coffee and sugar implies milk and biscuits so confidence is 1 percent or 100 percent and so on so this is quite uh, you know interesting to show similarly you can uh, increase the criteria which is on our case uh, is confidence so you can simply uh, increase the confidence or criteria and here we have different rules for this confidence so you can uh, set the parameters or adjust the parameters according to your requirement so this is very interesting to work with rapid miner so that's it for today thank you